every year, hundreds of seafaring vessels are dumped on the beaches of India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. This is the largest ship graveyard in the world. The environmental pollution is extreme, and the dangers posed to demolition workers are notorious. Zembla obtains a revealing dossier describing the wrongdoings in the demolition of a tanker, specifically a vessel owned by SBM Offshore, a Dutch company worth billions. This is far like our fault, yeah. We follow the trail of SBM's tanker to India. Oh. But as we try to approach the ship, we encounter obstruction, resistance, and fear. Zembla investigates the demolition of a toxic ship and the business practices of a Dutch multinational. Why did SBM expose Indian yard workers to these dangerous levels of mercury, sir? There is no issue the way you describe it. At SBM Offshore, we believe the oceans will provide the world with safe, sustainable, and affordable energy for generations to come. SBM Offshore is a multi-billion euro Dutch company. It began as a shipyard in the city of Schiedam and is presently a publicly traded multinational. SBM Offshore makes this driving olie terminals, die op diepe zee olie naar boven pompen raffineren, opslaan en dan komen kleine tankers langs zij en die nemen de olie mee. SBM is a market leader in the offshore industry, but in 2014 the company's image took a serious blow. SBM offshore heeft bewijzen gevonden voor omkoping in Afrika. SBM didn't only pay bribes in Africa. An internal investigation revealed that the company was involved in worldwide systematic corruption. The company's board tried to limit the damage and cover up the case, but this attempt was thwarted by a whistleblower that handed the information over to law enforcement officials. I knew all about the company's business practices and its um, endemic corruption. Um, I either had to play along um, with what was the early signs of a cover-up um, which I wasn't prepared to do, I cared for my liberty, um, or leave. SBM betaalt aan het Openbaar Ministerie 240 miljoen dollar, zo'n 190 miljoen euro. Settlements for hundreds of millions in the Netherlands, the United States and Brazil allowed SBM to evade multiple lawsuits. According to management, this has improved the company's practices. Vanaf 2012 is het heel duidelijk dat wij een transparant bedrijf zijn waarin geen steekpenningen worden betaald. But the affair continues to dog the company. SBM's former chief executive was convicted and sentenced to prison in the United States in 2018. SBM has done everything it can to restore its reputation, as can be seen in this corporate video. And we are committed to safety, quality, compliance and sustainability. But with this new image come more questions. One year ago, Zembla obtained a condemning dossier about SBM. It concerned an old tanker of the company's that was demolished, the Yetigan. Gross abuses were to have taken place in this demolition. The ship appeared to be seriously contaminated with mercury. Heel vaak zie je dat er te weinig rekening gehouden wordt met de gevaarlijke en de potentieel gevaarlijke stoffen aan boord. Tom Peter Blankenstein is a well-known name in the maritime world. He is often asked to advise on the demolition of old seafaring vessels. Old tankers like the Yetigan often contain many toxic substances. For this reason, they are labeled as hazardous waste and are therefore subject to rigorous demolition standards in Europe. That reguleert ook dat schepen alleen maar vervoerd mogen worden en gerecycled mogen worden op werven die goedgekeurd zijn door de Europese Commissie. En die werven moeten aan hele strenge regels voldoen. Die moeten inderdaad aan hele strenge regels voldoen. But the sustainable demolition of these vessels costs a lot of money. Money that shipping companies would rather keep in their pockets. They receive higher sums for the steel from their old ships if they bring them to Asia. 
90% van de schepen vandaag de dag. Uh, die komt terecht op uh, de stranden in India, Pakistan en, uh, en Bangladesh. SBM also dumped at least four ships in recent years in India and Bangladesh. One of these ships is the Yetigan. On the shipbreaking beaches of Asia, there is little regard for environmental damage and the workers' safety. According to the dossier we received from our sources, the mercury in the Yetigan poses a great danger to the demolition crew. This mercury originates from a gas field in Myanmar, above which the tanker lay for nearly 20 years. That quick, what in the tankers terecht comes, that blijft vaak achter in die schepen. Dat kwik dat hecht zich aan het staal en gaat vaak in de poriën zitten in het staal. En dat blijft zitten en dat bouwt dus steeds verder op. Toxicologist Joop Schroeder has conducted a lot of research on mercury, including that found in natural gas. He reads the dossier and judges the risks to the demolition crew. Zodra het gaat verhitten komt dat dus heel snel los in korte tijd en dan zullen de mensen die daar dus werken met bijvoorbeeld snijbranders, die kunnen dat dan inademen. Als je die gassen inhaleert, ja, dat kan een gigantische zeg maar, beschadiging aan hersenen, nieren veroorzaken. Dat mag je mensen gewoon niet aandoen. In some cases, the inhalation of mercury fumes can be deadly. Mercury is so dangerous that a special UN treaty exists requiring countries to remove it from the environment. The Minamata Treaty. The sanitation office of Minamata City began receiving reports of an unknown epilepsy-like affliction, which has since become known as Minamata disease. The residents of the Japanese city Minamata ate fish from a nearby bay. After a period of time, they became sick, as a local company had released large amounts of mercury into the water. Dat komt omdat het centraal zenuwstelsel is aangetast. Maar je hebt ook effecten op de ongeboren vrucht en dat de kinderen ontwikkelingsachterstand kunnen krijgen. Due to its toxicity, many countries apply rigorous regulations to mercury cleanups. Worldwide, there are only four companies that comply with the strictest regulations. One of these is the Dutch company BMT. We are allowed a visit to one of their mercury processing installations in the Dutch city of Groningen. Waar komt dat kwikhoudende afval allemaal vandaan wat jullie hier verwerken? Voor een heel groot gedeelte is dat de olie- en gasmarkt. En dan met name nog de gas. Wij destilleren het kwik eruit. En dat wordt uiteindelijk in gecertificeerde vaten uh, in de Duitse zoutmijnen opgeslagen. Voor permanente opslag. En als dat in een tanker terecht komt, dat kwik, zouden jullie dat dan kunnen reinigen? Ja, we kunnen dat, uh, dat reinigen. Dus het staal kun je schoonmaken. Uh, om te zorgen dat het residu wat daar vanaf komt weer op de juiste manier verwerkt wordt. En dus niet in de natuur uh, verdwijnt. En dat kan je eigenlijk alleen maar op een veilige manier doen in een fabriek als deze. Ja, die laatste stap. Ja, die laatste stap moet je absoluut op deze manier doen. Ja. En een strand opvaren? Ja, dat zou ik niet doen. Nee. A tanker with mercury cannot be demolished on a beach. Where did SBM bring the Yetigan? On the internet, we find websites with satellite information on ships. With this information, we reconstruct the route of the Yetigan precisely. In photos taken by satellite, we see the tanker sailed to India, reaching its final destination on the beach of Along. Nowhere in the world are as many seafaring vessels demolished as in Along. Over a length of 10 kilometers lie more than 150 ship breaking yards. Here, every year, hundreds of ships meet their end. They are taken apart by blow torches and by the workers' bare hands. Blankenstein has seen the environmental consequences to Along with his own eyes. Het schip ligt uh, half open in de vloedlijn. Dus eb en vloed komt twee keer per dag uh, komt dat voorbij. En dat gaat gewoon in de structuur van dat schip. Dus daar worden stoffen in en uit uh, gewassen en, uh, en wordt keurig uh, schoongespoeld. Dat verdwijnt allemaal in zee. En dat, nee, de zee neemt dat mee. Ja. Quite often, serious accidents occur in the shipyards. Als je daar een brander in zet en gassen komen daarbij vrij, ja, dan zegt hij helaas boem. Uh, daar zijn de nodige gevallen van bekend uh, van de afgelopen jaren. Er vallen ook doden bij. Nee, er vallen zeker doden bij. With regular occurrence, workers fall from great heights or are crushed under steel plates. 
Wat je dus niet ziet is uh, als er gewerkt wordt aan, uh, aan asbest of aan kwik, uh, wat, uh, wat de lang, meerjarige uh, gezondheidsrisico's voor deze mensen zijn. In past decades, hundreds have died here. Due to extreme pollution and dangerous working conditions, the European Union has banned shipbreaking in Olang. However, this ban only applies to ships sailing under European flags and thus not the Yetigan. That ship sails notably under the flag of the Bahamas. Dan hoef je niet aan bepaalde regelgeving te doen die onder Nederlandse vlag wel van toepassing is. Dus je, je zet gewoon een vlag van een land erop wat niet zo streng is, bijvoorbeeld als het gaat om slopen. Klopt. This is the Yetigan on the beach of Alang. These images have been provided at our request from a source in India, because we want to know how far the demolition of the ship has proceeded. Ja, er wordt gewoon gewerkt aan boord. Ik zie inderdaad dat mensen lopen aan boord. Grote stukken zijn er al, uh, al uitgesneden. Ik kan op deze beelden niet zien of er of stukken zijn afgezet met, met, met linten. Uh, of inderdaad uh, tanks uh, goed geïdentificeerd zijn, zodat mensen daar niet in kunnen vallen. Deze beelden geven niet, uh, niet veel vertrouwen. We ask a source to secretly film the shipyard where the Yetigan is being demolished. Als je de hoeveelheid rook alleen al ziet, uh, ongeacht wat voor gevaarlijke stoffen daarin zitten, dat is al van een dusdanige zwarte rook. Dat wil niemand inademen. Het valt wel op dat er met snijbranders wordt gewerkt door mensen die geen enkele beschermende voorziening hebben. We show these images to Gustav Bieseveld, a former environmental public prosecutor with the Dutch Justice Department. Ja, ik denk dat hier een, uh, een zaak aan de hand is die heel erg gedreven is door het verlangen om met zo min mogelijk kosten af te komen van een schip en weinig zorg te besteden aan uh, het milieu en de gezondheid van mensen. We ask SBM what their company has done to protect demolition workers against mercury. SBM replied. Prior to its arrival in India, scale and waste had been removed from the vessel. The vessel was gas-free and ready for hot work. We want to know if that's true. From satellite information, we can make out that the Yetigan has been to a shipyard in Indonesia before it was brought to India. On Facebook, we find photos of this shipyard. SBM had an external inspection agency determine how much mercury was in the tanker. Inspection of toxic substances is mandatory if you want to demolish a ship. You must know what there is, where the stuff is, where it sits, so that you can take it in a safe way. Weghalen. Zembla obtains these very measurement results. From this, it appears that mercury levels in and on the steel of the Yetigan are extremely high. Hoe dieper je komt in het schip, zie je de concentratie toenemen van de hoeveelheid kwik in het staal. Gaat het om een grote hoeveelheid kwik? Ja, de waarden die normaal gesproken geaccepteerd zijn, daar gaat deze getallen in, in de onderzoeksrapporten die u me heeft laten zien, daar gaan daar soms wel 55 keer overheen. Ik vind het een goed rapport. Het is een deskundig bureau wat heel vaak van dit soort metingen doet. Je kunt dat niet aan de kant schuiven? Nee. Dat kun je niet aan de kant schuiven. Alongside the inspection agency, another company is contracted to remove deposits and waste. The mercury contaminated waste is to be shoveled from the tanker and deposited in 800 of these types of vats. But SBM's problems don't end there. The mercury in the tank walls isn't removed. And this is precisely the problem. The research agency hired to measure the mercury contamination gives SBM an urgent warning. Even after emptying the tanks, it seems mercury remains present in the walls. Shipbreakers that heat the steel run tremendous, even deadly risks. That betekent that ook tijdens het sloopproces er voorzieningen moeten worden getroffen om de werkers te beschermen. Dat moet je dus niet onderschatten, want dat is in feite de betekenis. Extensive safety measures are specified in the report. 
workers must be completely covered during demolition. En hier worden serieuze waarschuwingen gegeven voor zelfs als een schip schoongemaakt is, zorg dan dat je, dat je inderdaad de beschermende maatregelen neemt om te zorgen dat je niet extra gevaar loopt. En die zie ja, dat staat er wel, wel in, in tien verschillende waarschuwingen in het rapport. Je kan dat niet over het hoofd zien. Dat zie je niet over het hoofd. What did SBM do with these warnings? The company tells us that the workers in India were not exposed to mercury. That would seem to be the case from measurements SBM had carried out in Alang. Furthermore, in a film on their website, SBM says that all of the workers were adequately protected. Every measure was taken to make sure no worker was exposed to any mercury vapor throughout the process of disposing of the uh, FSO. But how could that be when the demolition workers in these recordings aren't wearing gas masks? It's high time to go to India and conduct our own investigation. We first travel to Bafnagar, the center of the shipbreaking industry. The head offices of many shipbreaking companies are located here. From Bafnagar, it's an hour's drive to the coast, to Alang. There, we seek to find the Yetagan and the demolition crew that worked on the ship. But in Alang, an unpleasant surprise awaits us. The local Coast Guard is guarding the entrance. Hello, sir. We are looking for permission to get into Alang. We don't get through. Alang appears to be a restricted area to foreigners. But we just want to, you know, film the ship. Without permission, not allowed. Why are foreigners not allowed to get into Alang? It's a policy, but do you know the reason for this policy? We aren't told why foreigners aren't permitted access. There's nothing left to do but travel back to Bafnagar. There, we have a meeting with Vanut, a journalist from the local newspaper who's been following the shipbreaking companies for years. Perhaps he knows why we were denied access to Alang. Bidesi but employee beated area along ko easily jahir kiya gaya. Koi bhi chota mota vardat ya chota mota hatsa hota tha, to bidesi patrakar sabse bada usko issue banate the. Or yah pure ke pure log aa jate hai, se 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 jo khit photograph lete hai, se se video lete hai, or se logo ke pure visu me se se rakh dete ke jese yah kuch bo road esa esa hota hai. Vanut appears to be in strong agreement with the Indian government. He finds all the negative attention brought to the working conditions and environmental pollution in Alang rather overblown. Alang ke jo virodhi log jitne pari barthe, wo usko issue banate hai aur pure visho me isko badnam karte the. Alang pure visho me sabse badiya aur sabse number one abhi abhi tak hai. तो कम से कम 10 लाख लोग से ज्यादा लोगों को इस पर निर्भर रहता है। We ask if the newspaper is aware of a heavily contaminated tanker that has recently arrived in Alang, but Venu dismisses this story as nothing but a fairy tale. पिछले पांच साल में ऐसा कोई जाद नहीं आया है। अब ज्यादातर ऑयल टैंकर ही यहाँ पर आते हैं। इतने पदार्थ जलत पदार्थ की या जोखमी पदार्थ की तो कोई बात ही नहीं रहती और जाद को कोई ऐसा कोई देखने की भी जरूरत नहीं पड़ती। it seems the darker side of the shipbreaking industry must remain out of sight. We mostly hear about what a blessing the demolition industry is for the economy, as it provides jobs for so many people. On the way to Alang, we pass hundreds of small businesses that deal in everything and anything found on a ship. Lifeboats, rope, life jackets, everything is sold. How important is shipbreaking for the community of Alang? At this business, the steel from ships is cut into smaller pieces with gas burners, destined for construction sites. Here, the air is also filled with toxic fumes. 
but no one is wearing a gas mask. What happens when the workers get sick from breathing the fumes all day? It seems there is only one small hospital in Along. Maybe we can learn more about the demolition crew that worked on SBM's tanker via the doctors at the clinic. We arranged to meet one of them later that evening in Bafnagar. Mercury is a disastrous element and a lot of precaution has to be taken while cutting or doing uh, handling such type of the material. Different sort of labor or different sort of people who are trained in doing those jobs should be only incorporated into that work. Not any, because they should know that what they are dealing with. But as soon as we ask about the company that's demolished the get again, the doctor doesn't want to answer any more questions. That is uh, another issue which I, I don't know, because it is a medical legal aspect. As a doctor, I cannot uh, interfere into those matters. So we don't even get one step closer to the shipbreakers of the Yetigan. Fear of the shipbreakers seems to prevail. We notice this as well the next day as we travel with Fandana, an Indian journalist. She doesn't want to appear recognizable on camera, as she is afraid of the consequences. Exposing environmental scandals is risky in India. Threats and violence against activists have greatly increased in the last years. Vandana calls a prominent environmental activist. This person may be able to help us find out more information about the Yetigan. So, do you have any contact here whom we could speak to, whom you could recommend to us? Actually, they will not speak. They will not speak because of what reason? Sorry, I don't understand. Because of, because of the shipbreakers, threat from the shipbreakers. Oh, so they're scared? Yes. Okay, so it's lawlessness that is the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, it's a mafia running industry. So you're saying that some very influential people are involved? Yes, yes. It's not going to work. So that leaves us with only one option. Sneaking. Sneaking in. If we plan to go and look for those workers, I could leave you outside, Alan, okay. and then I can go inside. Later in the evening, together with our driver, Vandana will attempt to bypass the guard post in Alang. They will seek out members of the crew who worked on the Yetigan and that want to talk to us. In the meantime, we wait outside Alang until they return. After an hour and a half, Fandana returns. She's found two men that want to tell their story, but they don't dare appear recognizable on camera. Why do you feel scared? If this man has worked for 20 years at various shipbreaking companies in Along. This man has worked on demolition crews as well. Is this the ship you have been working on? Yes, he recognizes it. So where did you work? जहर उसमें से निकलता है उसके बारे में कि जहर का नाम क्या है ये क्या चीज है इससे क्या खतर खतरा हो सकता है ये जानते हैं आप नो आई हैव नॉट बीन टोल्ड अबाउट एनी स्पेसिफिक सब्सटेंस पॉइजन नाम से वी शो दीस वर्कर्स द हिडन कैमरा रिकॉर्डिंग्स मेड द शिपयार्ड 
ये आपको पहचान पा रहे हैं कौन सी जगह है खड्डे है जहाँ मतलब फ्रेश कटिंग होता है उस जगह का सर तो ये जो लोहा है वो उसी जहाज से आ रहा है जो आपने अभी पहले देखा The workers confirm that the steel in these images comes from the Yetigan. The workers heat the steel without any form of breathing protection. We present this to demolition expert Blankenstein. Dan dan lopen deze mensen die lopen dit nu rechtstreeks in te ademen. Persoonlijke beschermingsmiddelen die je eigenlijk nodig zou moeten hebben voor voor kwik. Dat is hier absoluut niet niet aan de orde. What did SPM do with the warnings in the report? The answer to this question lies in Indonesia. We speak to sources that were closely involved with the Mercury investigation. They say that SPM wanted to cover up the case. We obtain emails wherein SPM asks the author of the Mercury report to make a shorter version and to leave out recommendations of a cleanup. Waarom zou je iets verbergen wat een een goed advies is? Um... Waarom zou je rapporten tegenhouden die mensen kunnen gebruiken om, om mensen te beschermen? Dat zegt dat men de indruk wilde wekken dat er niet zoveel aan de hand was. Uh, en op die manier ook heel veel geld te besparen. We are also handed these official forms. According to these certificates, the tanker can be demolished using blowtorches without any risk. These documents are signed by a subsidiary of SBM. Wat zegt het u dat een dochterbedrijf van SBM hier zijn handtekening onder heeft gezet? Dat uh, uh, versterkt het vermoeden dat hier sprake is van vals het ingeschrift. Dus het opmaken van een vals rapport samen met anderen en vervolgens het is niet zomaar gebra- uh, opgemaakt met de kennelijke bedoeling om het ook als zodanig te gebruiken. Furthermore. Various sources directly involved with the demolition alleged that there are suspicions of a payoff. I know at one point some government officials were looking for a brown envelope. If you pay someone enough, anything can be done. The Indonesian Customs Authority denies that any corruption has taken place. Are the stories from our sources true? We're pleased to share our findings with SBM and hear their side of the story. But the company won't grant us an on-camera interview. Then, an opportunity to speak to SBM's management presents itself. In the Dutch city of Harlem, a lawsuit is proceeding against the company. The whistleblower that exposed SBM's corruption in 2014 is asking a judge for compensation from SBM. We wait outside for board members afterwards. Mr. Shabazz, can I ask you something? Dutch television. Do you want to have a lunch with us? Uh, that would be great, okay, yes. Let's go. I have let's some, have lunch. I have some questions about the uh, Yetagun. We have reason to believe that SBM ignored an alarming report about high levels of mercury in the ship. Yeah, and that's not factual, true? It's not we factual? Me- we have measured those uh, levels, and there has never been an exceeding of the levels in regard to the standards that are operating. We have reason to believe that SBM lied about the levels of mercury, sir. There is a report that we have corrected. There is no issue, and you know that. So um... we know there is an issue. Okay. Why did SBM expose Indian yard workers to these dangerous levels of mercury? I already explained to you. You are not factually correct, and we have all the information available to you, and there is no issue the way you described it. But when we try to make arrangements to come and view the information, SBM is evasive. They can't meet us. We only receive this letter from an inspection agency stating that it appears the workers run no risks. But any proof of this isn't to be seen. Nor does SBM address our questions about corruption. Thank you. Have a nice day. According to SBM, no wrongdoing has taken place. But what is this conclusion based on? From emails we've obtained, it would seem SBM conducted an additional mercury inspection. And according to that inspection, there was hardly any mercury in the tanker. Therefore, there would be no objection to demolishing the ship using gas torches. But a source directly involved states to Zembla, 
is definitely not an authorized method by which to conduct an inspection. SBM sought a way out and did everything it could to bypass the cleanup costs. In a confidential email, SBM has warned that this second investigation is misleading, incorrect, and potentially dangerous. But the company doesn't appear to care. Het heeft er alle schijn van dat het het bedrijf niet goed uitkwam dat dit schip zo verontreinigd was en zoveel kosten met zich mee uh, zou brengen. Dus dat ze geprobeerd hebben om dat te verheimelijken door nieuwe rapporten te laten maken. SBM denies this. The warnings came from an expert unknown to SBM. That's why the company had a second inspection conducted by an agency they've been doing business with for a long time. Wat vindt u van die handelswijze? Ja, dat is niet te prefereren. Um, het eerste rapport is prima. Dus het blijft vreemd dat het tweede rapport gemaakt is. Het is curieus. The yet again departed from Indonesia in September. SBM sold the ship to a shipbreaking company from India. According to SBM, both Mercury reports were given to the shipbreaking company. But then, problems arise. The ship floats for weeks just off the coast of Alang. The Indian government detains the tanker. They have been tipped off about the alarming first report. The import of mercury contaminated waste is illegal in India. It's an absolute verbod. Staat ook in de uh, Indiaanse milieuwet dat daar ook geen vergunning kan worden verleend. Het is absoluut verboden om kwikhoudend afval erin te brengen. The ship may not be demolished in India, but then, after a month and a half, the tanker is allowed through. The Indian Environmental Authority gives, against its own rules, authorization for demolition. Of er betaald is voor die toestemming, dat weet ik niet. Er wordt nog wel eens een keer omgekocht in de wereld. Ja, je ziet de meest gekke dingen terug om, om overheden maar uh, te pleasen. We have no direct evidence of a payoff. SBM and the Indian government won't give any concrete answers to our questions about possible corruption. But the Indian Environmental Authority has regularly been linked with bribery payments. We seek out the owner of the shipyard that bought the tanker. He appears to have an office in the center of Bafnagar. This is the man who purchased the Yetigan from SBM. Sanjay Mehta, a known figure in the demolition world. Millionaire and owner of five shipbreaking companies in Alang. We secretly record our conversation with Mehta and his co-worker. What do you want information? Well, I'd like to know where the high levels of mercury and were you informed about the first, first, let me know who said you the higher, higher amount of mercury there. We have seen the initial report and it says very high levels right. of mercury. Right. I don't need, need to give you answers. No, you don't need to, but I'm frankly asking you, what did you know about high levels of mercury on the ship? I don't want to give any answers. Well, why not, if there's nothing no, to why hide? Why not? Why? You are not my boss. But as we dig deeper, it seems Meta is very much aware of the situation regarding the mercury. Better yet, he's worked very closely with SBM in the demolition. I'm telling you, SBM is very nice company. You are lucky that company is in your country. So they, they are very worried for our Indian labor, and they are supporting us to how to do, how to handle this guy. So SBM people come here to. Yes, they visited here three times. Meta claims SBM helped him with the protection of the demolition crew. The company said that it issued gas masks and protective clothing. The crew was trained to deal with mercury. An independent agency also conducted unannounced inspections. Consequently, it seems no mercury was inhaled, according to SBM. How did you clean the steel? Before cutting, we are checking there is a mercury or not mercury. Do you find this mercury? There is so no the... mercury high level. They clean very well in this vessel. And so you want, I can give you the photograph of mass which we are using. Meta is talking about these images. We see workers that are completely suited up in protective clothing. They wear gas masks while working with the steel of the Yetigan. 
but in our drone images, the yellow suits are nowhere to be seen. We show these images to the demolition workers we spoke to in Olong. So is this normal procedure? Mm. No. So wh what are we looking at here? So what is happening here? It's a big house. 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 It's a तो जब बाहर से लोग आते हैं चेक करने के लिए तब क्या ऐसे सूट वूट आप लोग पहन लेते हैं The next day we speak to three more members of the demolition crew that worked on the yet again They also don't dare to be interviewed recognizably on camera What would happen if your company found out about you talking to us तीजा क्या होगा यही होगा कि वो कंपनी से अगर कंपनी लोग पता चल गया तो यही नतीजा होगा कि वो कल से हिसाब कर देंगे कि इंटरव्यू में भी टू का कंपनी के विषय में गलत सर तो भी नहीं रखेगा इस दिस ए कॉमन सिचुएशन पीपल डूइंग वर्क लाइक दिस इन येलो सूट चिकन भी देते हैं जो चिकन आता है होता है बाकी तो फिल्म में बाहर जाता है दिस फुटेज ऑफ द डेमोलिशन क्रू वाज स्टेज्ड the clothing was only meant to deceive the inspectors. The demolition crew didn't appear to even know why exactly they had to put these suits on. Parak visit to Hong Kong. Today, we are working on the start. We are working on the start. But now, Parak Hong Kong, I don't know if Parak was there or not. What the company is, they have told you that in this place, Parak is there and you are not aware of it. No, when I was about Parak, I didn't tell you about Parak. I didn't tell you about Parak. I didn't tell you about Parak. This crew member worked at the part of the shipyard where our secret recordings were made. There, no one wore a gas mask. जब जैसे आप आती हैं वेरिफिकेशन के लिए या कोई भी टीम आती है, तो उस समय सारे जो चीजें हैं सेफ्टी के फील्ड में, क्योंकि आप फील्ड में आते नहीं हैं, आपको ब्लॉक कर दिया। He tells us that he inhaled toxic fumes on a daily basis. जो सांस के अंदर लेने पे खांसी आती थी, तरह तरह के अंदर हमें ऐसा फीलिंग होता था, उल्टी हो जाती थी, ऐसा ऐसा करके, तो बोमेटिक टाइप में ऐसा महसूस होता है। Once again, we contact the owner of the ship breaking yard, Sanjay Mehta. Mr. Mehta, you told us that you protected your workers against mercury. Yes. We talked to yard workers and they told us that it was all a fraud. Not, not right. Not right. That is not right. Why are you doing it if it's so dangerous? What are you doing? You have to do it. You have to do it. Because it's like that. We are down. 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 By exposing workers in India to poisonous fumes, SBM has possibly broken Dutch law, says former public prosecutor Biesenfeld. And there stands a strafe bedreiging up of 12 years of jail and a fine jail boete. In dien daarvan gevaar voor de openbare gezondheid of levensgevaar voor een ander te duchten is. Met andere woorden, dan ben je strafbaar. Ook al doe je dat helemaal niet in Nederland, maar in India. Ja, onder de voorwaarden that they are also strafed in the country where the proceedings are conducted. And for the fact that I can go on, it is also, according to the Indian regulation, necessary that you will be able to deal with your waste. Visit our website to view SBM's entire reaction and for more details regarding the demolition of seafaring vessels.